In this video, I use Body Press Chest Knot. Body Press is the only move in all of Pokemon that uses your defense stat and attack calculations. This move is perfect for Chest Knot, as Chest Knot has middling attack, but great defense. On top of this, Chest Knot is a fighting type, so you get same type attack bonus on Body Press. Pair this with Iron Defense, doubling your defense, you get insane damage on Body Press. But that's enough spoilers about the team, so let's take a look at the rest of the Pokemon. Okay, here is our pretty offensive team. We have Chestnut leading things off with Leftovers and Bulletproof. Body Press, Trailblaze, Iron Defense, and Earthquake. You can use Iron Defense kind of like you would use a Sword Stance, but it also has that defensive utility. It will boost Body Press's damage because it does use our defense instead of our attack in damage calculations. Trailblaze, 2 booster speed, and Earthquake for coverage. Next up we have Roaring Moon here, very common set, Booster Energy and Acrobatics, a great pair because Booster Energy will boost our attack when we enter the battlefield, but then we will have no item, so Acrobatics will do 2 times the damage. I gave a Terra Flying to abuse that Acrobatics and also Dragon Dance just for funsies. Then we have Goldango right here, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, t -Bull, and Power Gem, Choice Scarf, Shit Outspeed Everything, very very good special attack and a ton of moves to use. Then we have Volcarona right here. Who doesn't love a good Quiver Dance Volcarona? Heavy Duty Boots, as it is four times weak to Stealth Rocks, which is normally very annoying. We are getting rid of that with the Heavy Duty Boots. Then we have Garganical right here. Leftovers, Purifying Salt, Stealth Rocks, Salt Cure, Body Press, and Recover. This thing is a defensive beast. Body Press, obviously, very solid damage for this thing. Salt Cure, a very annoying move. And Purifying Salt, a tremendous ability. And last, but certainly not least, a super fun one, Zoroark, Hisuian Form with Choice Specs and Illusion. We can disguise ourselves as any of the other team members. Probably gonna do Garganical because it does look like it would be a wall and then we're gonna be able to fire off massive special attacks like Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, and Focus Blast. So yeah, that's the team. Now let's see how it does. First battle here. Okay, let's go with the Chestnut right off the bat. And I do think I want Garganical and Zoroark to be the disguise. Okay, so we have, ooh, a, a pretty solid matchup here, actually. I think I'm going to Iron Defense. He'll probably Stealth Rock, if I had to guess, which gives us a bit of an opportunity to set up here. Switches into Corviknight. I thought he would switch into Skeledridge if he would switch, but honestly, this is kind of fine by me. I do think we're going to have to switch out, but I'm going to have a very safe switch. He's playing a Brave Bird, which is going to do nothing to most of my Pokemon. Let's switch into... Volcarona here. I Okay, yeah, he switches. Okay. I was like, he's either gonna Brave Bird or Switch, and I just went with the Switch and I got kinda lucky. Brave Bird would not do a ton of damage, his attack stat is pretty atrocious. So now we have Dirge Nowitzki versus Volcarona. Hmm. Don't love this matchup. Let's switch into Roaring Moon. We're gonna get the attack boost with the booster energy. He's gonna Shadow Ball. We, sh we eat that. Okay, beautiful. Now I get to Dragon Dance, which is going to be huge in a second, because we can Terra Flying Acrobatics to take care of things like Great Tusk, and we can Crunch Skeledridge. Yeah, this is a very positive matchup here. He's going to switch into Hatterene. Interesting. I don't think he's going to eat a Crunch. This thing has pretty lackluster physical defense. We could even Terra Flying Acrobatics. That does a slightly more damage than Crunch would. Because it gives us that stab with the Terra Ocelots. Doesn't quite kill. Okay, that is tragic. We are going to live the Draining Kiss, though, because we do Terra there. So we are not weak to it. Let's just go Acrobatics again. Get a kill on Ice Spice. That will be great for us. He switches into Backscalibur. Interesting. <laughs> wow, I did not think that was going to kill. I knew that was going to do a lot of damage, but that is... Yeah, he forfeits. Okay. Battle number two. I think it's time for that Chestnut sweep. Let's go Chestnut right off the bat again. I am a little worried about the Slow King at first, but I think we can take care of it. He wishes us good luck. Very nice guy here. I will do the same to him in a little abbreviated format. Okay, I go Chestnut. He goes Meowskarada. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? Is this probably a knockoff or a switch, right? Or a U-turn. So U-turn or knockoff. I think I Iron Defense. I'm not too worried. Ooh, okay. This, this could be big. Could be big. Do we go for one more Iron Defense? Our defense is already at 560. Okay. I'm going to go for one more Iron Defense here. Then we can Trailblaze, maybe. Goes for another layer of Toxic Spikes. That is not what I was expecting. A little bit greedy, I think. He might have allowed us to set up a bit too much. We'll see. What We might not have great answers for Cerulea Edge. That's pretty possible. Uh, okay, so he does go Knock Off. 
gets rid of our leftovers, which is not the end of the world. We get the speed boost there. Now I can body press. Do we outspeed? Okay, we're not going to outspeed the Meowskarada, but we should outspeed everything else, right? Yeah. Honestly, mm, we're not going to outspeed the Iron Valiant right now because I am pretty convinced this thing is booster energy, which will give him 1.5 times speed. But for that, to outspeed that, we'd have to go for two more Trailblazes. I just... Oh, okay. He's going for the Switch now. Let's see. I expect Iron Valiant to come out. He was Cerule Edge. Hmm. So he's going to get the weak armor boost, right? Is he Flash Fire? Ooh. I was not expecting Flash Fire. Okay. Interesting. Let's Earthquake then. 68%. I don't think he's going to kill us with a Bitter Blade. We do have so many... Look at our, our defense is 850 right now. So we do live and get another Earthquake for the kill here. Killing the Cerule Edge actually is going to open up our Volcarona a lot. Since this was Flash Fire, I don't know if I could hit the Cerule Edge. So that could be big later in the game. He goes to the Iron Valiant now. Ooh, the greedy play would be to Terra Steel Body Press. Can I do it though? Ooh, okay. Mm. Would Body Press kill? I don't know. It's kind of a fun play though, right? Because he's going to Moonblast. I assume this is a special attacker. That is the more common set right now. Terra Steel Body Press. I mean, we outspeed two. So we'd get two body presses. And then could we go through the rest of the team? Probably not. I don't know. Let's just do it. Why not? Body press does 62%. He's not going to kill us with the moon blast because we Terra Steel. And now he gets body press again. That was honestly a little closer than I would have liked. I got a little nervous there. But we do live. This is very big for us. And he's going to forfeit on the chestnut. I was not expecting that. Okay, there we go, Chestnut. Picking up a solo victory right there. Let's go for one more game. Okay, final battle. He has a Paldean Tauros. That is not very common in OU. This team is pretty scary, but I think we can play around it. I think I want to lead... Ooh. How do I want to do this? It's going to say League Organical, but I like having that as the disguise for Zorark. Could also... Well, I don't know. I think you still lead Chestnut here. Chestnut is like the best lead on this team, I think, because you don't want to reveal your hand too early with the Suian Zorark or the Garganical. Obviously, you save the choice Scarf for later, so yeah, I think we like Chestnut here. He has Iron Valiant. I'm going to have to switch out. Let's go into Goldango. Pretty safe switch here. We resist Moonblast, and we are immune to a Aura Sphere or a Cloud Close Combat. Moonblast, 42%, even though it's resisted. Ooh, and he gets a special attack drop. That is pretty big for him. Let's just go for a make it rain. I assume he switches here. If not, I think we kill. He does switch into King Gambit. Okay. Not going to do a ton of damage. 19%. Okay, that's not great. I'm going to go into... Let's go back into Chestnut. We have Body Press, which should kill. Couch Talk Cleave does 23%. He's probably going to switch out here. Ooh, I'm going to guess he goes into Iron Valiant and Earthquake. Goes into the Iron Valiant. This should do like 60. Ooh. Not 60. Wow. Interesting. I thought this would do a lot more. Hmm. Okay, let's switch now. Can we go... Hmm. Let's go back into Gold Dango. I don't love taking the damage here, but we do outspeed with the Scarf, so... Only have to take one hit, and then we can make it rain again if we want. Or we could go hard switch if we think he's going to get it. I'm going to go make it rain. I think he stays in. Make it rain, okay, beautiful. Scarf saves us there, we outspeed the Iron Valiant, and get the knockout. Goes into King Gambit now. Hmm. Think it's Sucker Punch or Cow Talk Cleave? If it's Sucker Punch, we switch. If it's Cow Talk Cleave, I guess we could take the chip on Make It Rain. He has leftovers though, so it doesn't really matter. I am going to switch into Chestnut. I like having the Scarf in the end. It's a nice quick revenge kill. He has Iron Head, so I guess that was a good play by him. I think I want to go Body Press here. He'll probably switch out, but if not, we get the kill. He switches into Tauros, which is interesting. We get 20%, which is solid chip. I do think we switch out here, unless we don't love any of our options. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, I assume he's going to go for a Raging Bolt. Could just stay in it. Let's just Earthquake. Who we outspeed? What is this Tauros? This is like minimum speed Tauros. That is really weird. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go with Roaring Moon, because we have a super effective acrobatics here. I think that's what we go for. Unless we can read a switch, we might go Rotom Flash, I guess. Then we can just Crunch. Could also Dragon Dance, but that is a bold move. I'm gonna go Terra Flying Dragon Dance. I think he might like close combat or something. Close combat, okay, resisted, beautiful. And now I think I sweep with Acrobatics and Earthquake. Acrobatics here, he protects. Doesn't really do anything but delay. Acrobatics again, we can Earthquake, King Gambit, Crunch on Rotom, and we should be in the clear after that. Goes into the King Gambit, we have Earthquake for this. Sucker Punch shouldn't kill us, I don't think. Okay, he doesn't even go for it. Earthquake gets the knockout, and he's just going to forfeit. Roaring Moon and Chestnut, too clutch. We don't even need any teammates for them. That is the video. Subscribe if you want to. Don't if you don't.